as I have now completed the 50 DAX Fooligan jobs in order to get the Platinum Trophy, as well as how important these jobs are when you first get your Acid Lab, as you need to complete 10 of these jobs in order to upgrade your lab. And currently, at the time of making this video, there are some rewards for completing them, albeit pretty crap ones. So in this video, I'll be going through the best and fastest ways to complete each and every job so you can burn through these as quickly as possible. So without further ado, let's get to it. Bug, dog, dog, dog! To first unlock Dax's jobs, you must have completed the first dose mission, which is activated after a call from Ron. Hey friend, it's been a while. Who the fuck are you? Show me your butthole, fella! You will then have access to Dax's Fooligan jobs. To start these, simply call him up and request work. Yo! Yep, just give me a few. He will then call you back with one of five jobs selected at random. Okay, I got something. You heard of the Epsilon program? The base payout for these jobs is $50,000 but some of them, if not completed in a specific way, will only pay out half, which I'll get to later. Before starting any of these, always activate job warping and then request a job from either Ron or Simeon. Hey, what do you want? There will be a link to my job warping guide in the description below. The reason you want job warping is because it will save you tons of time traveling around the map. As for the Ron and Simeon jobs, I'll explain throughout the video. There's also been a cooldown skip discovered for these jobs. Normally, after completing a job, you'd have to wait 48 minutes before you can start another one. But you can skip this cooldown entirely by going into the LS car meet, taking a test track car out onto the test track, then call up Dax. Hey, it's me! With this menu still open, back out and accept to leave the test track by pressing the accept button twice. Sure, I'll look into it. Now just wait a few seconds and the next Dax jobs will start. What do you do? Okay, how about we do the right thing for once and fuck up Big Pharma? Instead of waiting a total of 432 minutes before you can upgrade your Acid Lab, this can now be done in under an hour. It will also mean achieving a Platinum Trophy much quicker. So let's look at each Fooligan job in turn. First up is Crop Dusting. There are three starting locations you will get for this job, which is either Rex's Diner, Mount Gordo or Grapeseed. There is a proper way to complete these, and that's to collect the Crop Duster, fly over three locations multiple times to drop some Weed Killer, then blow up a tanker. It takes so long to complete that if you get this one, simply load into a new lobby and call Dax again to request another job. Yo. There will not be a cooldown if the job is not being completed. For the heavy metal mission, you'll be asked to either go to either La Puerta or Stab City. The best approach for La Puerta is to keep your distance and out of range and missile everyone with your oppressor, as the gunmen here are quite savage. What you're looking for will always be behind this portable toilet. Once he's dead, take a photo and send it to Dax. Asshole. The car you're now looking for will either be right by the boss or around the corner here. I gotta reload. What the hell are you doing here? This is private. Get in and prepare to be attacked. Then follow this route to drop off the stolen goods.
call in your vehicle and off you go. Use the same approach for the Slab City location. The boss will be hiding inside the caravan. You can head there once the coast is clear. Take him out and get your photo. Look for the car to take this route to the drop-off. Accepting your job on your phone and backing out will spawn your vehicle close by. Gracias. Calling it in from here will spawn it much further away. For the liquid assets job, you'll be asked to either go to La Mesa, Alta or Palato Forest to pick up some contaminants. It's now just a case of arriving at a nearby location, blasting away some Epsilon weirdos, Dropping in your contamination and turning on some sprinklers. For the next part, nothing you do here will matter. So simply put your controller down, make yourself a cup of tea and wait for the whole thing to be over. Eventually, you'll respawn somewhere else on the map. The Working Remotely mission, otherwise known as the Go Postal mission, has three possible locations, which will then lead to another location linked to it. There are two possible ways to complete this, so let's look at the proper way first. If your van is at the terminal location, kill the security and drive it to the customs up the road. Today. Equip the remote bomb
then head to the Lost Camp at this location in East Vinewood. Once you have been granted entry, park up and escape this way without being seen. Then call up to detonate the bomb. You can't normally call Lester to lose the cops here, so accepting the job on your phone and backing out will not only spawn your vehicle next to you for a quick getaway, but also lose the cops. Sometimes you may still have the wanted level, but after backing out of the job, you will now be able to call Lester and then remove the wanted level. Hey, how can I help? Oh, hey, you're in trouble. Hmm, okay, I'll deal with it. The same principle applies for each of the other locations. If you get the Harmony location, take the train tracks route to Palato Bay Customs. What's up your ass, huh? Then to the camp here. All righty then. Step four: go play delivery boy and park this jack in the box in a spot where it'll do as much damage as possible. Just don't let them get a close look at you once you're inside. <laughs> then escape by going round this way. I don't want to buy shit. And if you have the downtown Vinewood location, take it to the same customs as you did for the terminal location. Hey, you and head to the camp in La Mesa. Then escape this way.
doing it the proper way would pay out the usual $50,000. If you're not too bothered by the money and just want to get it done as quickly as possible, you can simply enter the van, then wait for the next instruction from Dax. Do we have a problem? I've dealt with dicks like you before. Hey! You can then job warp or make your way over to the final location and just blow everyone up. This is much faster, but will only pay out $25,000. So the choice is yours. You'll also unlock a Go Postal outfit, which you'll never wear again by choice. And the last type of mission is Write Off, otherwise known as the Merryweather mission. There are three possible final locations, and these will be linked to where the first set of Merryweather vehicles will be on your map. So if you have them situated here, then you can head straight for their base down at Elysian Island. If they are situated here, then the base will be at Sandy Shores. And if they are situated like this, the base will be at San Kiansky. Flying vehicles are a no-no here as the base has very accurate homing missiles. You're also likely to face a lot of enemies and firepower. So my choice is the Kanjali tank. I'll get there as soon as I can. Now you just need to go mental and blow everything up. Don't. If you are able to destroy everything within a short time period, no other enemies attacking you will spawn. But this is likely only doable at the Sandy Shores location, where it's much easier to get to destroy everything quicker. Oh no. Once everyone is dead, simply leave the area. Bear in mind that the San Kiansky location means your vehicle will spawn very far away, so call it in much further up the road, or accepting the job on your phone will sometimes drop it off much closer. do have the following Merryweather Insurgents and Valkyries, always take these out rather than just escaping, as in my experience, regardless of how far away you get from the chopper, the mission won't end. And that's how you complete the Dax Fooligan missions. Are there any other tips or tricks you think I missed? Let me know in the comments. So if you found this video useful, please drop it a like and maybe consider subscribing for more. I'm Beats Down, and I'll see you in the next one.